Have you ever thought what the world would be like if there were no directions? Directions? Gee, no! Without directions from stop and go signals, it would be very dangerous to cross the street. And cars would get into big, big trouble too. Without the proper directions from blueprints, houses might fall down. And cakes and cookies wouldn't taste very good without the proper recipe. Without proper directions, face play like this. Or without a good map and the right directions, you could start out to go to the beach and wind up in the desert. As you can see, Goofy, everybody needs directions sometimes. And if we don't know how to follow directions, things can get mighty confused. Goofy, can you think of any place else where we find directions? Sure, practically everywhere. At home, parents give directions when they show how to make something. Or in school, the teacher gives directions when he assigns homework or explains how to solve a problem. <laughs> On the street, traffic signals and stop signs tell when it's safe to cross. Very good, Goofy. We follow directions even on vacation when we learn how to build a fire or how to make pancakes. So you see, following directions correctly is very important. Yup, in school and later on too. If you look around, you'll find three main kinds of directions. Visual directions, spoken directions, and written directions. Visual directions use pictures instead of words, like this diagram that shows how to take care of a bike, or this sign that warns drivers that there's a children's playground ahead. The second kind of directions are spoken. Anytime the teacher goes over a test you have to take, or a guide gives you instructions on a trip you're making, you're using spoken directions. Written directions are the third kind. Things like street signs use words to tell us where we are. Those are written directions. So do traffic signs that use numbers to tell us how fast we can safely go. It's important to read written directions very carefully. Ask yourself, do you really understand them? If you don't, you might be in for a big surprise. Simple, clear directions help us do things in the right order without confusion. So learning to follow directions can make our lives a lot easier. Well, Goofy, it looks like you could use a little help following directions. I sure could. Okay, here are a few simple tricks to remember. When directions are spoken, the most important thing is to listen. Uh, Goofy, what's the most important thing to do when directions are spoken? Huh? Gee, I don't know. I don't think you were listening, Goofy. Maybe you were daydreaming. When you daydream, you may hear the speaker, but you probably don't really understand what he's saying. Concentrate, and don't let things go in one ear and out the other. The more you concentrate, the better chance you have of burning the instructions into your mind. Some people find that it helps to write down spoken instructions. Repeat the instructions to yourself. Repeating makes it much easier to remember. And make eye contact with the speaker. That means look him right in the eye. Don't ask another question till you hear and understand the answer to the first one. And try to improve your memory. Make it work for you. And above all, make your ears work for you. Sounds good to me. Now here are a few suggestions that will help you follow written directions and improve your memory. Try repeating the directions out loud. That way you are using two pathways to the brain, your eyes and your ears. Read slowly. Let the instructions sink in. Watch out for words like before or after or instead of. They can change the whole meaning of the sentence. And you don't want to get the directions all wrong. If you don't understand directions, spoken or written, be sure to ask questions about them. Don't be shy. Maybe others didn't understand them either. 
following directions helps us get organized so we can get things done in the proper order. Directions give us information so that we can do the job right the first time. Or try something new for the first time. Directions help us play the game a lot better. Or put things together more easily. And directions can stop confusion, provided we listen to the directions. Directions improve communications. We listen, and others listen to us. Well, Goofy, do you think you learned how to follow directions a little better? Oh, you betcha. Good. Maybe you could give us a few directions about directions. Oh, I hope I don't go repeating myself. That's all right. Repetition helps us remember. Okay, here goes. We can find directions everywhere. At home, at school, in the street, when we're playing, or working. Some directions use pictures, and some are spoken, while others are written down. It's easier to remember spoken directions if we follow these few simple steps. Listen real carefully and don't daydream. Try to concentrate. Don't let things go in one ear and out the other. <laughs> but do look the speaker right in the eye. Write the directions down and repeat them to yourself. And most of all, Try to improve your memory and make it work for you. Sounds like your memory is working just fine. Oh, wait! I'm not finished yet. Let's see. When the directions are written, repeat them out loud. Read them slowly and carefully. And if you don't understand them, ask questions. Goofy, that's amazing. You must have really been listening. Like the fellow says, I'm all ears.